Shenzies has over 600,000 users and it's the biggest investing platform in New Zealand. It lets you buy into the Australian, American and New Zealand stock market and during this video I'll show you four profit boosting strategies that you can use to level up your returns using Shenzies. So the first one is that Shenzies offers a high interest savings account that gives you a 4.8% return. This is great because the money that you have on Shenzies you can at least earn some interest on it while it's not invested into the stock market. This is helpful because again there's not always times that you should be investing your money. Sometimes the market isn't doing very well and it's better to hold that money in cash until there's a better opportunity to invest it. So the interest is calculated daily and paid out monthly. It's great because it doesn't come with any strings attached and the interest rate that you get is very very competitive and better than the vast majority of banks. This feature was first introduced in May of 2023 and if you compare this feature to a high interest savings account with ASB that only gives you 2.55 percent where Sharesies will offer you 4.6 percent so almost double in comparison to ASB. There's no minimum deposit amounts, there's no penalties for withdrawing your money it's just the very cut and dry interest that you earn on your uninvested money a bonus tip when it comes to making money with sharesies is to use my affiliate link in the description box that will give you a free five dollars when you first sign up to the platform the second strategy is using an investment plan now the fees for sharesies are a flat 1.9 percent fee whenever you buy or sell an investment this is the brokerage charge and it's standard between all online brokers with sharesies there's a maximum amount that you have to pay for your brokerage costs and this varies depending on the country that you're investing in. So if you're using the New Zealand version of Sharesies, the max brokerage charge that you have to pay is 5 US dollars for American stocks, 15 Australian dollars for Australian companies and 25 NZD for the New Zealand market. For the Australian version of Sharesies, everything is the same except that Australian stocks, the max brokerage fee is 6 AUD instead of the 15 AUD that you have to pay with the New Zealand version of Sharesies. So keep in mind that this is the max cost you have to pay for your brokerage charge. This doesn't factor in the foreign exchange fee that you have to pay. So you have to pay a fee whenever you convert one currency to another. So if you top up your account with the New Zealand dollar but you want to buy an American company like Apple then you're going to have to pay a fee of 0.5% to convert your NZD into USD. This cost is slightly higher for the Australian version of sharesies it's 0.6 percent so you can see on this chart here the costs that you have to pay whenever you invest different amounts of money for the new zealand dollar into an american stock so if you're investing a thousand dollars into an american company you're going to be charged again that max fee of five dollars for the investment but then also factoring in the foreign exchange fee so the total amount that you have to pay to invest a thousand New Zealand dollars into a company like Amazon and American stock, you're going to be charged a total of ten dollars with a combination of your foreign exchange fee and also your brokerage charge as well. If you want to be able to calculate the fees that you're going to have to pay for investing different amounts of money, on the pricing page of Sharesies website, it gives you a breakdown of investing various amounts of money into the different stock markets offered by the platform, and it shows you the fees associated with that so you can see on screen here the different charges that you have to pay for investing money from New Zealand into the American stock market and you can also break down the foreign exchange fee on the Sharesies app so you can see here if I'm going to convert 1000 New Zealand dollars into the US dollar it's going to cost me about five New Zealand dollars to do that so jumping into the three pricing plans that Sharesies offers these will allow you to reduce the fees that you have to pay when making one-off investments and also for your auto investment plans. So the first plan charges you three New Zealand dollars per month and this lets you invest 500 New Zealand dollars and have an auto investment of a thousand dollars as well. So this is a lot cheaper than investing that amount manually without the plan. So if we're going to invest fifteen hundred dollars per month at a fee of 1.9 percent and again all these examples are going to be if you're only investing into the New Zealand stock market they don't factor in the foreign exchange fee that you'd have to pay 
today if you're investing into the Australian or the US stock market. So if you were to invest $1,500 into the New Zealand market, that would cost you about $25 in fees. So definitely cheaper to use the monthly plan if you're intending to invest that amount. But if you're not, and you're not going to be consistently investing $1,500, then the plan might not be the right option for you. The second plan is $7 per month, and this lets you invest $1,000 manually and $3,000 through auto investments. And lastly is the $15 per month plan. This allows you to invest $5,000 manually and auto invest $10,000. Along with this, you do get more detailed financial information on the companies you might be wanting to buy, which can be great because the more information you have to make your buying and selling decisions will improve the quality of your investments and the potential return that you can make from them. Again, it may not be worthwhile to fork out $15 a month for the detailed financial info you can get a lot of this information for free through a quick google search as well the third strategy is setting up an auto investment plan cheesies will allow you to auto invest a certain amount of money every single week into a particular company or you can set this up to be fortnightly or monthly as well on your shares profile you will have a unique pay ye number and a reference number that's unique to your specific shares profile so you can set up shares as a saved pay -wise on your mobile banking app so you can set up an auto investment from say your ANZ bank account into the Sharesies platform and then set up an auto investment plan from your Sharesies wallet into a specific company. A really great investment can be something like a diversified ETF which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF and this tracks the biggest 500 publicly traded companies in the American stock market. So if you think about brands like Facebook, Google, Disney, Amazon all put together into one investment. On average this will give you a return of about 8 to 10 percent per year and the best way is to just put a consistent amount of money every single week into this one investment to let your money grow and compound over time. So if you get say an 8 percent return this might not sound like much but essentially what it means is that every nine years your money will double in value. So if you were to start investing at the age of 25 and stop at the age of 65, so you do it across 40 years, if you, we keep it a bit more conservative, we'll say you get a return of 8% per year and you put in $5,000 per year, at the end of that 40 year period, your portfolio would be valued at $1.29 million in comparison to just saving that money, which would only give you $200,000. So there's a much much better return between investing your money versus just saving it. What's great about this is shares will offer fractional shares meaning you don't have to buy an entire share of a company to invest in it. So with VOO one share of it is currently worth over 450 US dollars but if you only wanted to put in 20 dollars per week shares will let you do that through its fractional investments. Another great company that lets you buy fractional shares is Tiger Brokers and offers some of the cheapest brokerage fees of any online platform letting you buy over 200 shares of any American stock with a max charge of just two US dollars to make that investment. If you sign up to Tiger Brokers using my affiliate link in the description box you'll get a free $30 when signing up. It also has zero foreign exchange fees for exchanging up to $2,000 per month and also four free investments per month and this is a lifetime offer and if you're someone who likes to invest a lot of money and you fund your account with $2,000 or more within the first week of making it, you'll get an extra $50 as well. So you could get up to $80 for free when you first sign up to the Tiger Brokers platform. The fourth strategy is that Sharesies offers online modules to help teach you the basics of investing. When I first started on my investing journey, there were so many jargon terms thrown around and I didn't understand their meaning. Things like ETF, P ratio, dollar cost averaging, all of these random terms that Sharesies has modules to understand these concepts and they're very beginner friendly. It's a great place to get started and begin understanding the basics of the stock market and it's overall a great place to get up to speed when you're first trying to navigate what can seem like a really complicated space with learning how to invest in the stock market. Sharesies has lots of other great features to be aware of with the Sharesies platform like letting you manage your KiwiSaver. If you want to see the complete breakdown of Sharesies all the way from setting up an account 
some great investing strategies, and finally, a step-by-step -step process of actually buying some shares of a company using the platform, then check out this video on screen to get a full tutorial on the ShareZ platform.